Okay, this video I'm doing is going to be on these AGK functions that I've coded in. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create two objects. So I got a sphere and a, and a box. I'm going to take the box and I'm going to attach the sphere. The sphere is now a part of this object. Okay, I'm just going to change the offset. Okay, so now we've got this object that's a box. Now, what I want to do is I want to texture these two limbs differently. Uh, I'm just going to use color textures for this. Um, so I'll make one of them blue, or cyan, or whatever they call it. Uh, and then the other texture I'm going to use um, can be actually blue. Um, so what I'll do is I'll texture the sphere blue. I'll texture the box that color and I'm just gonna make sure that sometimes some of these limbs that I have in my quick parts menu doesn't actually have um, UV coordinates so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select all of these to be safe and I'm just gonna hit this button which gives it a plain map texture on it um, doesn't affect this obviously because the color of our these are color textures um, so now that we have done that, I can click this button here, and it's exactly what it says up there. It remaps the object to use a single image, okay? So even though this object's using two images, it's going to remap it to use one. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, okay? So now you can see everything's just blue. Um, now I also need to click on this button. This button is to redraw all the loaded textures into a single image. So I'm going to click that and you're going to see that it's dumped all of the images into one image. Um, and you can also see that it's fixed the object. Now this object has the exact same texture on, on all of its limbs. So that's how that works, and that those functions were coded in specifically for um, A. I mean, it makes it so you're just using one image at the end. Um, and then B is that it remaps everything to just use one image. So it's really good for a final product to just have one image per model, even though it has more than one limb. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll do another video on Vertex Tools as well as Animation.